Hi Robins, I'm going to read you a story from this book, Fearless Fairy Tales. Snow White and the Five-A-Side Football Team Snow White was a serious footy fan. She ate, slept and breathed football. Well, she didn't actually eat, sleep or breathe footballs. That would be weird. It's what we call a metaphor and it just means that she really loved football. When it came to football, the only thing Snow White didn't do was play it. It wasn't that she didn't want to play the beautiful game. It was just that where she lived, only boys played football and she wasn't sure if she would match up. Sometimes, when everyone else was asleep, she would secretly practice in her backyard, but she would never dream of doing keepy-uppies or a scissor kick in daylight in case people laughed at her. Snow White lived with five lads, Sporty, Ginger, Baby, Scary and Posh, who all played on a five-a-side football team together. Although she didn't play on the team herself, Snow White would always go along to their matches to cheer them on and celebrate with them when they won. Unfortunately, they never won. Yep, that's right. The team had lost every single match they'd ever played. That's 17,836 games in total. They were currently languishing at the bottom of the league table, and if they didn't win their next match against their arch-rivals, the Poisoned Apples, they'd be kicked out of the league altogether. Worried about the team's misfortune, Snow White knew that she was their only hope. She had to figure out exactly why they kept losing and put the puff back into their very deflated football. So after kick-off one afternoon, instead of cheering the lads on, Snow White made notes about their individual performances on the pitch. Sporty. Sport comes to him naturally. Boundless energy and stamina. Good in any position. Ginger. Approaches the game gingerly, but nonetheless lives up to his nickname, the Ginger Ninja. Stealth moves, great in goal. Baby. Tiny, but perfectly formed. Spectacular at dribbling, a perfect midfielder. Scary. Petrifying moves. The only team, the other team are terrified of his talent. Frighteningly good striker. Posh. So polite, he often passes the ball to the opposing team. More concerned about getting his strip muddy than scoring. Has unknowingly scored 19 own goals while apologising to others for getting in their way. Shockingly bad in every position. Aha, uh -huh, thought Snow White, looking back over her notes. I've hit the nail on the head. She hadn't actually hit the nail on the head. It's another metaphor, meaning that she'd realised what the problem was. And in this case, the problem was posh. At half time, she huddled together with the lads in the changing room to share her findings before the crucial second half. Although they were losing 19-0, Snow White had a cunning plan. All we need to do is make a substitution, she said. But we don't have any substitutes, replied Sporty. There are only five of us. Six, actually, said Snow White, if you count me. I'll play in the second half and Posh can sit on the bench. The five lads burst out laughing. They laughed so loudly it reminded Snow White of the evil queen's wicked cackle. Snow White wanted the ground to swallow her up. That's a metaphor too, by the way. She didn't actually want the ground to swallow her up. She just didn't want to be there because she felt so embarrassed. Football's for boys, cried Baby. Yeah, chimed in Sporty. Girls can't play football. Snow White was furious. Why couldn't girls play football? Girls had legs, didn't they? And brains? She took a deep breath then used her very sizeable brain and worked out exactly what she needed to do. Do you like watching TV, Sporty? asked Snow White. Oh, I love it, replied Sporty, especially Kingdom's Got Talent. Hmm, said Snow White. Well, that's not very sporty, is it? How about you, Scary? Do you like hugging people? Oh, hugging's my favourite, replied Scary. Hmm, said Snow White. Well, that's not very scary, is it? I don't understand, cried Baby. Why is this relevant? You can't always judge a book by its cover, explained Snow White. She wasn't saying the lads were books. It was yet another metaphor. She meant you can't always judge things by their labels. Just because your name is Baby, it doesn't mean you wear nappies and cry all the time. And just because Ginger is called Ginger doesn't mean that that's his favourite spice is Ginger. No, cried Ginger. My favourite spice is Star Anise. I like garam masala too, but technically that's a blend of spices. 
And just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't play football, said Snow White. The lads looked at each other and the penny dropped. Not an actual penny. It's another metaphor. Basically, it means they understood what Snow White meant. You should definitely play in the second half, Snow White, said Posh. To be perfectly honest, I don't really like football that much. Yes, agreed the others. Snow White should play, but hurry up, the second half has already started and we're still in the changing room. Snow White whipped off her outfit like there was no tomorrow. There was a tomorrow. It was just another metaphor, which means she did it quickly, to reveal that she was wearing her football kit underneath. She always wore it, just in case. She sprinted onto the pitch where she was like a fish in water. That's another metaphor. She obviously wasn't a fish, let alone one in water. It just means that she was a natural footballer. She ran rings around the poison apples, and even their star player, Golden Balls Delicious, couldn't stop her from scoring goal after 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 goal And the final whistle blew. Snow White and the team won the match 2019, and Snow White was awarded Man of the Match. That wasn't a metaphor. They actually did mean man, so the league officials decided to change it to Person of the Match for all future games. Posh was very relieved he never had to play football ever again. In fact, he ended up marrying Golden Balls Delicious, who, despite being in the rival team, wasn't a bad apple at all. He was a good egg. He wasn't actually an egg or an apple. Yep, you guessed it. It's just metaphors meaning he was a good person. It just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. Although you can with this book, as it has an excellent cover. That end.